Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Savvy Index. In my previous video, we had learned about scalar quantities and in this video, we're going to learn about vector quantities. If you haven't checked up on my scalar quantities video yet, then I'll give the link in the description so that you can check that video out too. So before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you'll get a notification as soon as I upload a video. So now, without further ado, let's get started. So now let's learn about vector quantities. Vector quantities are the quantities having magnitude along with direction. So we already know magnitude as numerical value multiplied by unit. Now this, we have to add one more thing to form a vector quantity, which is direction. So direction is an important part of a vector quantity. It's like a significance which we are adding to form a vector quantity. So now, the change in magnitude, direction or both will result in change in vector. Now what does this mean? Um, in the last video, in the scalar quantities, we learned that change of magnitude alone will result in change of scalar. But in vector, we have three different things that we can change to change the value of vector quantities. Now let's check them one by one. So we'll take any vector quantities, we'll take um, velocity. How about we take um, 10 meter per second and we have to add direction also. So my velocity is going towards north. So now this is a complete vector quantity and to change the value of this vector quantity, the first is I can change the magnitude. So the magnitude is 10 meter per second. I can either change the value like the numerical value I can change it as 12 or 11 meter per second then the vector quantity will change or I can change it I can change the unit as centimeter per second or I can change it as millimeter per second like by changing the magnitude I can change the value of the vector quantity that is the first one the second is I can change the direction now changing the direction since it's going originally going towards north I can change the direction as the physical quantity is going towards south. Now by changing this, the vector value will also change. So these are two types and the third one is that by changing both magnitude as well as direction. If you both change both of them also, that time also the vector quantities will change. So 10 meter per second towards north is the original form. I can change it as um, 12 centimeter per second towards east so you can see that it's a completely different vector value so by changing these quant uh, these things and all you can change the vector value so vectors cannot divide other vectors previously in the scalar we learned it that it can divide but a vector quantity divided by another vector quantity will not give you any other physical quantity so it's like it cannot divide, it's not possible. So this is all about vector quantities and there are many vector quantities, for example, um, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force, they all are vector quantities only. And there are many pretty much others also. So this is all about vector quantities and I hope you understood vector quantities. And this scale and vector quantities are like basic concepts and you have to learn this so that you can understand other physical quantities better. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you'll get a notification. So thanks for watching friends. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.